<laughs> Welcome to Kids Cooking. Here I have today I have Chef Denise and I'm Chef Charles and we're gonna make Crab Ragoon. Alright, if you have an adult with you, we're gonna take our Alaskan King crab legs and we are gonna take a cleaver and we're gonna break it on the knuckles. Now if you don't have a big cleaver then you can use like a, a regular seafood type of cracker. And then we're going to basically take it and cut it right down the middle. See how easy it comes out? Just pick it up, put it in, and then we're going to shred it into a small, small pieces. Make sure because there is a little piece here so you don't pull it out because that needs to come out. It's basically the equivalent of a chicken bone. How do you think that for an analogy? All right, Chef Dee is going to break into little pieces. She does this really fun. We take our regular egg rolls and we use cookie cutters. Instead of just making a little round or square, we're going to make weird shapes. And see, I threw the piece in there. I'm in trouble. So we basically took about a pound of crab meat. Now simply all we're going to do is take a cookie cutter, we're going to put it on. You can literally tear the shell away as a little trick. See how good that works, Chef Didi? Yes. So right now she's going to make the ingredients that we're going to stick in the middle. We're going to add the two bunch. Oh, and also, it, it's shredded crab meat, so it's all pretty much small little pieces of fresh crab meat. Two. Best to not to use fresh crab meat and not imitation crab meat. Yes. First, you add two chopped green onions. A fourth of a tablespoon of garlic powder. It's about three shakes. <laughs> Usually we have quick and click and clack on the set, but her sister's gone today, so I'm sitting in. Half a tablespoon of soy sauce. This will probably taste good. She actually measures the ingredients, unlike I do. And one whole tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Notice our new Perfect Meals aprons. What a nice addition to the set. And then the main ingredient, cream cheese. Are we going to use the whole thing? Yes. Eight ounces. It's actually twelve. It's eight. Eight's twelve. Oh, you're right. Why argue with the kid? They know it all. Oh, you can't open it. You need me, actually, now. Oh, not really. I used the the low cal less cholesterol version. She looked at me funny. Mix it all together. Okay. And then 
When you're done cookie cutting, get one egg yolk, one egg yolk and moisten it, moist, moisten the edges. This is so she can seal it. Right? Yes. I'm smarter than I look, don't I? Sometimes. Sometimes. And then you just add the crab mixture. I wanted to do the nice square ones, but they were just too easy and boring. You can help. Oh, I can help. Oh, see, you didn't tell, watch me. I didn't put the butter on the edge. I put too much in. Egg yolk. Egg yolk. Aren't you supposed to be an adult? I'm not certain. This is a kid's cooking segment. I can act my real age. seen enough of this we're gonna do an easy one for me you can do the fancy ones I'm just gonna take a regular egg roll cut it diagonally have a triangle That's what we're talking about, one my size. Alright, so the next stage after this, so we get them all together, we're going to put them in the fryer. So you want to get do this either in a wok, but we actually have a little wing fryer that's like a saver and we don't have to waste a lot of oil and we can reuse it. So we've got our oil hook cooking and pretty soon we'll stick them in the, in the uh, fryer. After a closer analysis of the system, we figured out a better way to do it with the paintbrush where we just paint around the edge thanks to Chef Charles sticking up that, that great method. So basically it's about two and a half minutes on a side and we should just about be done. So we'll put in several batches and uh, we'll be enjoying them pretty soon. Okay, now you're going to deep fry it in hot oil. And cook until golden brown. Now 
you will need to turn it. And be careful, the oil is very hot. Again. Please enjoy our crab lagoon.